Yo, that was that was weird, guys. My phone, <laughs> it says it got hot. Sorry about that. We were in the midst of talking tires, and the phone blew up, guys. Hopefully, we don't have this scenario happen again, but damn, it's when you know it's getting spicy. If you guys remember the good old days, the Micro Mondays, you know, Steve's phone melts down when it, the topics get real juicy. So, we're going to activate the water cooling. <laughs> On the phone. And get back into it. Sheesh. Oh boy, Steve. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go, summertime, huh? Oh shit! It's been a minute since that, that happened. I know. Now we got the phone dimmed down. It used to be when Maz came on, scared <laughs> the internet. Dude, I guess the Enjoyers are the next hot thing. Well, fuck! I was getting to that. Yeah, I wanted to see those, those hybrids. Yeah, that's kind of. I mean, I don't know. They're they're not really. Exact Bajas. Um, but yeah, see how they're all typed? Like, their version of the TPDs. Aggressive sidewalls. That's this new one. Uh, same size, so the B29 should work perfect. From so, Damn, they look pretty good. They're like a hybrid of soft, the TPD and the Bajas, then, right? Yeah, that's the best. I, here's the. Um, Here's the ProLine official Pro X Baja next to them. See how they're not really the same, same. Oh, that's so weird. Pretty cool. cool. I'm, I'm, they popped up out of nowhere. I didn't. I was looking for the the Myclaw ones, and I saw those, and I was like, "Oh, damn! What's those? I buy that shit." Can't go wrong. What was it? I feel like seventeen bucks shipped. Yeah, that's a good yeah. deal right there. Yeah, you can't beat it. Nowadays, <sighs> especially with their S five compound, get some good flubs. Sheesh, it's a good deal for sure. Let's check out these meat claws right here too. So these are the big, big version ones. These are the as you can see. T sixty four by twenty four. Fucking huge. Yeah. Uh right now I have some flubs in there also. Got the V three threes. Um dude, the lugs are nice. Super soft. Uh, yeah. You know, I haven't picked up Enjora tires in a minute. Yeah. They're good, man. The S five is sick. And you got thirty three in there? That makes sense because I bet most of that tire size is the lug. Versus the inner carcass. Yeah, you can tell the, the even the lugs are soft, but they're so thick that they're going to hook up. Oh, yeah. So I definitely dig them. I'm going to put them on the pit bull this there week, and I'll get some action going with that. I did run those trio tires, guys. I don't know if you caught my live over the weekend. I was trying to run... Or maybe last week, not necessarily the weekend, but I was trying to run the uh, trail burners, you know, with the pit bull. And they did good, don't get me wrong, but they just kind of slid around where, of course, my scramblers from RC Four Wheel Drive will hit lines like nothing. So I think these tires are going to be best for a heavier build because they kind of designed the tire to be a little bit tougher, especially on the inside. There's like a ribbed extra layer of rubber on the sidewall. So even with the V29s and vented, they will be on the little bit stiffer side or just going to need a ton of breaking in. But they are dope. They are pretty cool, but I'm excited for these uh, Swamp Claws for sure. 
I'll be definitely doing that. Yeah, man, you'll you'll be impressed with the S5 and the the latest iteration of uh, Enjoy tires, man. I'm a fan. I'm thinking I've of swapped out the little ones. Yeah. They, they, they have some little smaller, versions right? of the ones that you got right now? Smaller than these? No. These are, what, 56? Okay. Okay. So, oh, those are 56s for, already. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. So, if you guys like this style right here, this super aggressive lug pattern, but you're not looking for exactly mega tall 64 millimeters they will be joining that 56 millimeter um category well they already have them yeah, sorry you got them. or 57 whatever it is 56 57 so let us know if you're gonna pick some up guys chance ordered the 57s for sure um Let's check the chat real quick. We got some guys over here. Do you, do you have you guys have tr have you tried the DJ Crawler 68s? Me? No. <laughs> I definitely have not, not tried the 68s yet either. Those seem just I don't know, a little bit too big on my preference, but you know, yeah, Martin, and I've seen them looking sick on uh, some of those big wheel builds. No, oh, I could see that working. Yeah, you right. Could be more tire to play with to cut them up. True. That makes sense. Yeah. I, I don't know. I wasn't. I have a set. The ones that look like the KM threes, and it was the carcass is just too thick to do anything. You can almost run those without any kind of foam, and you probably yeah. Get Here you a little bit of conformity. Um, let's see. We got swamp stompers. Oh, what do you think about wide versus narrow tires? What do you think the perfect width is for these little guys? Uh. That's I've been seeing these. Tires, tires is such a such a touchy subject because it only right. it's only going to work with where you drive and what you drive. So I I, I know what um, Bryson is talking about. I've seen a bunch of stuff on that too, on real rock crawling, and I've also seen people talk shit when people don't have tread left, and it's almost like a racing slick. But what it is is you get more tire rubber compound or uh, patch to the ground, right? So the more rubber, the more grip. doesn't really matter what the tread looks like. And those places are, you know, they get crawled a lot usually, and there's, like, rubber on the rocks. It's left behind from people spinning tires, and that creates more traction. So, yeah, the more rubber on rubber, it's just like a racetrack. That's why car racetracks or race cars use rubber uh, slicks, you know. Yeah. Smooth contact patch. More rubber on rubber and on the ground, the more grip you get. So, does that work with a micro rock crawler? I don't think so. I think you just have <laughs> to roll the dice and pick a tire that works for you and where you live. So yeah, there are I some tires that seem to work everywhere, and a lot of those are the Proline tires. And a lot of them are the RC four wheel drive tires. From anything I've seen, and I'm sure you probably agree with that. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you right there too. And you know, coming back to those DJ crawlers real quick. You know, right here I'm looking at these pins, and these are 65s. They put them at 65. Big and skinny. So imagine three more four millimeters. It's not much. But then and there's a got... prime example right there, too, of a skinny tire with very small lugs, if you will, the pin lug. So you're getting more rubber on the rock. You're getting more of the actual tire carcass than you are the tread. Damn. Always interesting. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, dude. Well, just shout it out. 
Yeah, what are you guys and Love it. Because, like, yeah, I'm excited for those two, the Perline Traps. Those are going to be sick. Trenchers, can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. Waiting for them, um, too. See, for me here, dude, on in 110s, dude, the G, J Concept of Tusk and the green just fucking dominate everything I drive. I've tried every fucking tire, like, almost literally, or driven with people that have those tires. And, man, Tusk just, they crush everything. Right. Even, I, I hang with people with ruptures, and I swear people, they swear by the ruptures, but, man. I don't know. So, so but with micros, I don't know. It's different, man. Every every truck I run has different kind of tires, and they all kind of work. So, <laughs> right. Man, try this experiment. Have fun with it. It's not really expensive to swap them out. Yeah, that's why I got so many builds. It's always so fun. Right. The tires are fun to, to try out different builds, different purposes, different setups. So, just keep them rolling, Yo. guys. Just keep building. <laughs> and one one thing I'm excited about for this week are those XO uh, universals oh let's check those out real quick yeah I need to get a set of those guys XORC you guys have, haven't been uh, catching XORC stuff lately you know I actually got you know, my XO right here is a WT XO. These things are sick too, guys. I'll give you a quick, quick, quick overview. This is the K2 build. Look at that break over right there, Mark. Yeah, I need to pick up an XO chassis at some point. This is on the Maz portals or the Mias portals. And... The and Portals that have been named how many times? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They're so great, man. I like those. <clears throat> this is definitely a sick chassis, guys. Well built, well thought out. Um, but what we're looking at is the next product, the newest product available that Mark said is now, now that they have some universal <laughs> options, guys. And these are offered. Well, these come. Grade five titanium now, guys. These are grade yeah, that's, five titanium XO universals. Good oh, luck breaking them. Insane. If you guys can see right here, those are gnarly. <laughs> Look at the angle. And that's that's a universal to be clear, not a CVD. Yeah, so universals you'll get more angle than CVDs. You do risk uh, the delicacy sometimes. But being that these are made of titanium, they will be very strong. Yeah. Especially the grade five. Yeah. Um, and guys, these are on sale right now for $21 while supplies last. So head over there. And for those of you guys with the Super 8 builds, fear your your dream day is here. They now have Super 8 Universals available right now also on the website. So with this kind of quality, you're getting the Grade 5 Super 8 version Universals instead of the CVDs. So imagine that steering radius, guys. You're going to be like 90 degree turning. XOUSC, yeah, XORC USA, baby. Head over to XORC USA, their Instagram, or check them out online. You can Google that. Take you straight to their, their website. Um, if you follow them right now on Instagram, they have their website on their profile. Link is in the bio. But guys, that's where you can pick up an XO. If you guys want to pick up a chassis, either the C. Uh, one version or the C2, C3 version that you guys see right here. You guys can even use code RCSteves710 at checkout and you can save a little bit off on your uh, XO chassis. So don't forget, support XORC too, guys. These guys are definitely 
uh, well known when it comes to pure Sorka comps in the 110 series all the way to the national levels. These guys mean business and they're looking to offer some crazy stuff for the uh, SCX 24s. So check them out, guys. And Mark, you go get your set soon, bro. Go oh, yeah. there on sale. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a great price. Yeah. Stop around those. So I'm saying titanium is brittle, but I mean we're talking micro skill here. Yeah, we're talking grade five titanium guys. These are not only light; these these feel and look well built. And you know, spoiler alert: I actually do have them right here, and I already driv driven with them. This is on the cheat code. So here they are. Ooh, yeah, buddy. Joining the XL cheat code. Right there, bro. Boomy. Send me a body to paint for you, homie. These are nasty guys. So okay. I'm gonna have to make high leverage steering links now with these <laughs> with these type of universals. So if you get you guys break have the some screw. You break the screw off before you break those. Just yeah. Make sure that out there. Or if you guys want extra throw, uh, and you guys have some links, you can either hit me up or you can unwind. You know, one side <laughs> maybe <laughs> like two mean? turns, two or three turns, and you're gonna get extra extra throw. So, without you know forcing your servo to go try so hard. So Set damn, point. That's crazy. So. Set the end point yeah. still, guys. They, they turn hard, but what the price to pay to turn too hard. Um, and then along with shift, uh, oh. sorry, XORC um, and the comp world for the 110, uh, shift Yo, RC, they're trying to that one too. add an, Oh, sorry, brother. Of course. Oh, no, I was just answering AZ Scaler. Oh, nice. Dude. You guys can about a hat. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week, guys. Mark's got a whole lineup of stuff coming. He wants to show us. But, but um, what was I talking about? The, uh, oh, Vision RC, guys. Vision RC, if you guys like wheels and you've heard of Vision RC, they make insane CNC quality um, wheels for the 110 and they're diving into the 1.0 uh, segment finally with yeah. a shift RC licensed wheel um, they are spotted right now I'm not sure exactly when they're going to be released but you know vision stay tuned for vision because hopefully they can uh, implement some of their more intricate designs down into the micro scale because I know they have a lot of cool, cool looking designs. Uh, what they have cool right now is like I think it's a KMC wheel, so check, check those yep. out. Yeah, it was a KMC for sure. Yeah, if you guys like the KMCs, there we go. And yeah, shift though. Huh? I, I, I didn't even put two and two on that one. That's cool. Yeah, they definitely are uh, go hand in hand. At so on shift, so whether you're, you got shift or NSDRC or any of the other good servo brands, you know, check them out, guys. If you have like the wheels in general, the design is all another micro offering. Um, it's we want to hand control. Control. <laughs> yeah, right. like you think we'd run out of things to talk about, and yeah, they just can <laughs> weird. weird. Or new shit on us every fucking week, dude. There's no joke. We're not lying, guys. This is all latest, and greatest stuff dropping every day. Um, we want we want to hand it over to Mark, and Mark has got something epic to show us that came fresh out of the Dirty Customs workshop, guys. And if you guys like what you see, you too can. Have have a dirty customs masterpiece stay tuned on how to get one so it's hard to do this because i'm always in the chat screen i'm gonna try and get it over here 
uh, in this area. While, while Mark gets it out, stay but, tuned, guys. Don't leave. I'm putting the names on the so wheel. Anybody that you know chats with me regularly or follows me or whatever probably knows that Mikey the Pikey is my brother-in-law. Basically, you know, he's I do some shit for him every once in a while. He actually <laughs> said he wanted to pay me to do something, so I went full on for him. He likes Bigfoot. He gave me four different cans of orange spray paint, all different, and said, go fucking do whatever you want from there. So we got on the hood, the stripe, Steve. Dude, that is so sick, bro. That is too sick. Speechless. What the heck, dude? I gave him the pink one. It looks so real. Because it's like uh, dirt every day. They always did that. They snuck that in their episodes. If anybody catches that one. Kind of a ghost one on his rear. Also, if anyone's familiar with the Flub tailgate, it usually says Toyota in like a 3D print. Yeah, we uh, made that go away. And then you got a flat, clear, whatever palette you want to do there. Same thing on the other side. You know, all the little details, window. Got to have that dirty customs in the back. Damn. The roof, though. The roof is what it was like. Bro, I washed the salt off, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't have to do any post-paint weathering on this thing. It's just... I don't know the colors he picked, and maybe the weed involved that night. Who knows? But it was magical. So, yeah, y'all, just give me free reign, man. Let me do what I do. Give me some ideas, and you'll get something like that. Damn, you guys, hit up Dirt McGurk right there, guys. So, get your name in line. So Take I'm doing the frustration quick, right? I just out of the way. Out. And bought bought two in the same day, so the shop's moving. There, there you go. That, that is super sick. And we don't hype on that one. Wait till, dude. Wait till um Jerry's RC garage gets the two I sent. I don't like sharing shit until the people have seen it. So you're never gonna see anything. Luckily, I live with Mikey and my sister. So, boom. Just walked out in the living room and grabbed that. But yeah, I got pictures and shit. But man, wait till you see the ones for Jerry's RC garage. Those things are that same, if not, I don't even know, different, <laughs> but the same level. Dude, that is insane. You killed it. Absolutely. Um, is that the same size stripes i'm curious where did you upsize it a bit? Um, to around i think the height was uh like 1.7 in no 1.3 inches or something like that 1.5 i forget but yeah height wise i sized it down from what you said oh you sent it down huh? yeah. do you guys like the stripes you can do them different ways but on a flub RC body, they fit absolutely amazing. Take out the work of your guessing on making clean lines, and you can just either cut one at a time, or if you really want, you know, DM me if you got one of those freaking machines. Yeah. Yo, Steve, so this. I was scrolling through and scrolling through and trying to figure out what I remembered. You were asking about stripes, right? So it's actually I'm talking about FJ60 style. The three lines running out, but it would run all the way down the body, but mm. that's SUV, right? right? But yeah, if you flip them that way and run them the length of it, it's an FJ60 style stripe. Damn, that's sick. Always learning something every day. With the to to the history. Goal. It's always my goal, just in general, to learn shit every day. 
Yeah. What uh, color was that? Red or orange that you used? Oh, dude. dude. There's like... Like the main one, the last color. It's it's blended, though. That's the thing. Like, there's no main... Are you talking maybe the brightest color you guys are seeing? Yeah. Like, right there by the stripes in the black wash? Mm-hmm. That's a Tamiya. That was... Yes, thirty-one, bright orange. The other three are Rustolian. Dude, got a lot to learn from the master himself. It's just, man, I just had fun doing it, and that's just kind of how it just flows, you know. You know, like something I love, what I'd love to do, and. I don't know, Zen takes over or something. It's weird. You almost feel like you're out of your body sometimes doing it. All right. Super well, fun. my guys, should we do it now? Should we uh, do a drawing? See who's lucky tonight at the end of the month? Last one, right? Yeah, guys. Cow RC was blessed to you guys. What's, uh, hit me up. What's Firehouse Customs? To the top. Yeah, hit me up. Oh, nice. You guys are getting blessed by Mark right now. You yeah. Guys. Yo. No. I'll wait till next week. Never mind. Sure? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because we are, it's almost eight. We already got a giveaway, so. Yeah. Yeah, I was figuring. But for those who have been watching throughout the show, did not forget about you guys. And if you were lucky to be on and are still on while I took roll call, you are entered in the spin the wheel to be eligible to win one of two CowRC giveaways. You guys will We'll get an awesome Cow RC scale banner by Spaz Prince. Some the first pro, uh, first winner picked will get the nice travel friendly, desktop friendly, quick fix friendly flat mat. These are magnetic guys, so that way you keep your screws where you need to be, and. They are nice and white, so everything's visible. You can see. And then the lucky winner will go home with the big workstation, the flat mat uh, screw catcher, guys, with organizers. Perfect spot for your micro. Everything you need, all the screws around it. It's the perfect one to get, for sure. And you can expand your lineup. You can get a whole bunch of maintenance products from them. Keep your trucks super smooth super clean and a whole lot more guys so thanks again cow rc sponsoring the whole month of july blessing the micro mondays crew and in order to win you got to be following cow rc here on instagram and we will check if you get called on here on instagram so i'm going to load up this instagram page so everything's nice and ready to go. And with that, that being said, if you are on here, like I said, congratulations. You have made it to through round one. Here we go, guys. We're checking. We're checking names, too. Make sure your profile is public if I'm not already following you. But with that being said, guys. Please go check out Cow RC and thank you so much, guys. Good luck. I'm going to shuffle the names. You guys are awesome. Micro Monday crew always watching. Always. Here we go. Boom. First oh, yo. lucky winner. Shout out yo. to the chat. Where to get 110 scale like interior goodies like Magazines, boxes, bo bottles, all that bullshit. Scale and 
interior magazines, bottles, and boxes and stuff. Oh, that random shit, yeah. yeah. Stole for... I can't remember who, who was that. I think uh, uh, Madcap. Was it Madcap? He did a, diff- a different, like, Instagram for it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Madcap. Stole for was- you following CalRC. Yes. There you, you go. Are brother. Man. Grass brother. <laughs> And he's watching. He's chilling right now. Yeah. My boy, hit me up. I Good think win. you did Good hit win. me up earlier too. So don't worry. Got you covered, brother. Please send me another DM. That way we can get you squared away. And congrats. And guys, go. here we go. Boxes, fast food bag, blah, blah, blah. All the little scale goodies. I think there's a couple guys that have won. Um, I'm not sure if you guys that are in in this uh, spin the wheel, they've won the big one or they've won the small one. And just to make it fair, if you guys do get picked, I still got something for you guys. I'm sure you're going to be stoked on it. But we're going to save the cow prize for a new winner. So let's... Let's just shuffle it up, guys. You never know what's going to happen, right? Here we go. Oh, oh, you see? Agent 11, he did win. So I appreciate you reminding me, homie. Much love to you. And with that being said, guys, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Who's going to take home the last one, guys? These are limited edition. Oh. Oh, and we have a repeat winner. <laughs> you got that prize last week. Right? But don't worry, brother. I got some new slaps for you. And, Yo, Steve, uh, some, let me send you some of mine, and then you can throw them in that. There you go. go. I'm just throwing them in something random every time you send something out. Oh, you guys are going to get hooked up. JD driver, you won last week, but congrats again. I still got a little slap pack for you. And uh appreciate you saying pass it on too. You're always the homie. Um chilling with the Micro Monday crew. And that's what it's all about, guys. Letting the other people get hooked up and letting people get stoked. So good luck and let's go. Boom. Fine line. Ooh. I don't think uh, you were in when we were drawing names, but uh, we G got Green. right here. We have another OG. G Green, my boy. Let, let's see. I know my guy has been and the Micro Monday legend. What's going on? I think I typed your thing wrong. There we go. There you are. Sorry, you guys, for that. And am I not following you back? Dude. I'm not following you back. Oh, man. I know you got to be following them, dude. Let's get you one of those Instagram glitches. Dude, this is my home- homie, though. I know, <laughs> right? you're not. Let me refresh. Uh, uh, request me, but <laughs> I know you got to be following them, dude. I'm sorry if you're, but he, I did say your account has to be public, though. So, so you know, brother. Um, damn. Let's see. That suck, kind of sucks. You know, we're going to have to. Just because of the rules, I just really want to make it really fair. We do have to have it uh, like a public profile in case we're not following each other. So, my friend, I am sorry. I'm going to have to pass it on. We'll still do the oh. slap pack. Yes. We will get you a slap pack. <laughs> but I appreciate you, though, bro. Please DM me if you are here. All right, guys. Yeah, for those watching, cool. it's we'll whoever I saw cool, during the t- time of 
a live segment. You guys didn't know when I drew the names, but if you were on there, you were on there when you guys were on. So here we go. Enough rambling. Good luck, guys. Boom. And the lucky winner is... Oh, that was so close. This was a borderline R50 Golden Goose. All right, we're, we're checking now. We're checking. <laughs> R50 Golden Goose. Are you following Cow RC? Oh. You are following Cow RC. Are you here? Shout out if you're here, Golden Goose. We also have to be watching live to win. There he is. You guys are. Golden Goose is the winner of this Cow RC screw catcher right there, bro. So, follow the rules. There we go, guys. Another successful one. Thanks again to Cow RC. And please DM me, Golden Goose, my guy. And uh, we'll get you squared away. Now, we got maybe one or two minutes left. And with that being said, guys, Mark, what is that sick-ass hat right there? Are you going to have any in the future? Uh, looks like I'm going to need to because everybody's asking me about it. So, there you yeah. go. Stay uh, tuned. Shout and out to we're going to be clothing for doing you know, the stitching and sending me some prototypes, if you will, you know, first runs. Um, next week, I think we're going to do on our giveaway, we'll start off August with the Dirt McGirt version of it. And then whatever else we come up with. Yeah. Damn. So. Sounds sick. Yeah, I can, I can order both. Um, got patches coming to you. I'll show you guys has all the slaps last week. So, yeah. yeah. But hit me up. Nobody really hit me up about getting shit, so we'll revisit next week. <laughs> hit him up, guys. He's got some stuff. And check out, stay tuned for next week because we're definitely going to see exactly what, what Mark's got to offer up close and personal. So you guys don't want to miss that. And big Is shout out to the Micro. Takeover? It we're, will be we're doing that. Be a dirty takeover. That's gonna be sick. We're gonna have some build updates, yeah. some products. It's gonna be sick. Maybe even uh, see if Umi or somebody's on down yeah. to hop on. Man, they really collaborated. Max, Dirty, or uh, Umi, uh, Spokes and Pistons. I like to get Soupies on just to thank his ass for sending me in the right direction on a couple things. You're on here. Do the same. Same thing. Yeah. She. Yes, sir. I'm always down to support. So let's, let's go, guys. Everybody, you guys have a great rest of the week. Stay tuned if you didn't miss out on the show. The upload is coming right away. And if you guys got friends on YouTube, um, you guys can share the link on YouTube. Check out the RC Steve 710 channel. Yeah. Everything's uploaded. You guys can check out a whole bunch of cool shows from the past. So much appreciated. So, you know guys. what I love about this little community we have? It, it like supports itself. It's like its own ecosystem. Everybody's making deals on the lives. You see people supporting each other and doing things and on the the comps, it's like all the small companies helping out with getting people going and on that. But it's it's just amazing. Like it's crazy to watch how organic it is. All right. So sick, guys. Let's keep it growing. Let's keep it going. Yo, and I'm keep tagging up in those sick-ass builds. I'm going to be blasting my uh, story feed tomorrow for sure. Because we're starting with it. 
<laughs> but yeah, yeah, much appreciated, guys. Right. And again, Mark, always yeah, my please. homie, Micro All Monday right. homie. Everybody in the chat, have a great week. Catch you guys next week. Peace. Yo. Bye. Bye.